Hey yo YouTube, welcome back to another video and today we have a huge, huge, huge review because it's not other than the best, potentially the best center back in the game. It's not other than big boy Virgil van Dijk. Yo, chat, look, I, I watched this guy live uh, when France played against the Netherlands, and I can say you, he's huge in game. Like, he was insane. And I, I am thrilled to use this card. Now, I was lucky to pack, let's say, his loan card, and unfortunately, I have three more games. I, I got him for 24 games or 25, uh, and I did the objectives with him. Now, on the market, he's going for 280k, and I know his gold card is around the same price, maybe less, like, let's say, 30 or 50k, uh, but he's around that price, which, which, it's not that expensive, let's say, for potentially one of the best, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, I thought that was a snipe, man, because I had 20k, I thought for a second someone put that for uh th that that price I, I was going to be gasped so uh yeah he's around 300k let's say for the gold card which is not that bad you know don't get me wrong it's not that bad for the first day two or three days now medium high very tall uh pace it's really good like the exertion is not that high so expect that with van dyke but the sprint speed is insane uh dribbling wise again agility and balance quite low because it's natural he's a big guy and here's where we do the business 89 defending 86 uh physicality some insane strength and aggression and purely perfect defending for a day one center back you know what else you can expect from this card like last year i saw this van dyke till january february he was that good and there you go he has some quite serious block anticipate bruiser and aerial uh physicality i don't know what's the difference between the, this gold and this quite white one uh, I, i'm still new like you guys but yeah without further ado let's jump in and let's pick more in game if he's worth it or not so let's go okay let's go so I'm going to tell you from right now that I fell in love with this Van Dyke card. He was insane. I'm going to tell you in one word, he's a freaking bully, man. He's a bully and he's awesome in game because he has this big stock, great, insane defending and physicality. And his AI on this card is insane. The only thing that I'm going to tell you from right now that don't try to manually defend with this card so much because whenever you do a mistake and whenever your opponent is a good opponent and he makes like a, a good skill moves and he passes you around it's really hard to get back with this van dyke card because he is like tall low balance low agility so the time he goes back and covers the the mistake that you did or i did it's gonna be too late but whenever you defend with your cdm and he passes your CDM and you have one on one uh, like close pace with Van Dijk, you will get every single time the ball because he's there to defend and he, he he's gonna play for the badge and that's what I love, someone who plays for the badge. And the AI on this card is really, really good because the tackling, the slide tackling, and uh, he, he puts his body forward for you and that's a high AI performance that I didn't notice with any other card. Now, I played 24 games with this card, and whenever I took him out and I replaced, replaced him with Marquinhos, which is, again, a very respectable uh, card, I noticed my center back got weaker. So I felt the absence of Van Dyke. So whatever, whoever is watching this, please go buy this Van Dyke card. He will go maybe higher in price. I can see this card going for 250k, 400k, easily we're still not even one week in the game and he's a freaking bully in game so this year again he is the guy i didn't play still with uh other militao or those meta cards but i can say van dyke is easily in top three center backs this year again 
So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video, man. Peace.